It's the day after Christmas, and while many celebrate the gifts, tonight 13 drivers have the opportunity to earn some money and end 2019 a whole of a lot richer. Welcome to Core and MDK's coverage of the Core All-Star Race, live from the Eldora Speedway in Rossburg, Ohio. Alrighty, so, uh, very laggy here to start with, but otherwise, welcome ladies and gentlemen to the broadcast for tonight's Eldora All-Star Race for the Core League. Now, usually I have Cody Workman on here, but unfortunately he's busy with his friends and family out on vacation, so I thought I'd have a couple of Core drivers with me, drive through and a Joey Stone are with me for the broadcast. How are you guys doing tonight? I'm dirt racing. Alright. I'm excited. Racing. Uh, dirt racing for a grand prize so uh we're gonna see some rage but we're gonna see some fun i'm really excited for that yeah i was uh we were trying to get um do zoom with their faces in but we had issues with this so you're just gonna have to hear them let's take a look now at the entry list for the core open uh drive i'm uh, not drive through <laughs> brian price is in with ed soundhead joey stone brendan littell dale reynolds cody hicken michael maroots david cornelius or drive through and ryan labani and you see the three drivers or the four spots that are open the winners of the open segment one segment two and segment three as well as the fan vote those will decide uh the remaining spots for the core all-star race now for the open stage one is nine laps stage two is 12 laps and stage three is 17 laps and whatever each stage like i said advances on the core all-star race is plain and simple 150 laps no stages and the winner gets a hundred dollars all right so for the first time we are going racing on dirt in the truck series so uh we'll start with you joey uh what do you think is going to happen in tonight's race Well, tonight for sure, I think is going to be a crazy night. Uh, you know, the core guys, all of us love to have fun out there on the track. And uh, we're actually at a track now to where we're probably going to see a lot of bumping and banging in the corners just to get any position possible. Uh, we all know it's going to be a one groove track. Uh, you know, you can drive it nearly full force through the corners and uh, it's going to be sort of like follow the leader a little bit. But if you make that one little mistake, you're not only going to drop one spot, but I think you're going to drop a few spots. So it's all about execution tonight. It's just going to be absolutely crazy tonight for these open guys and for the main event as well. All right, and uh, drive through. What about you? I think it's going to be fun. Uh, we know Eldor is a pretty bottom side heavy track. I think it's really going to be key to get track position within the first couple of lap. Um, and especially early on, maybe some of these drivers not too. Uh, track and all of the core league it it's gonna be interesting i think we'll see a, a lot of shuffling early on maybe a bit of a train but i think we're still gonna see fun battles and close action all right so um uh, i believe around now the open qualifying is taking place uh joey wanted me to reveal the scheme that he's running tonight so uh, joey tell us about uh this e nascar e pro league scheme yeah, so obviously uh, I ran the number eight in my first season as an E NASCAR driver, and uh, this scheme just basically reflects uh, what I've accomplished this year. You know, uh, it was a lot of hard work to get where I am right now, and it's all about just uh, looking back and being thankful to be where I am and uh, just telling myself all the hard work has paid off. And um, yeah, so the blue, yellow, and red references the uh, E logo for E NASCAR. And uh, the eight resembles uh, the number I ran proudly for RCR this year. And uh, just, just a little self-reflection on everything I've accomplished this year. So it's just a good homage to what we've done. And I actually kind of like that scheme. I didn't know they actually had that version of that scheme style out yet. Um, all right. So even though we're heading in an all-star break, uh, we should point out what took place over the first few races of the season. drive through. I mean... You're the point leader on absolute tear. However, Joey, you uh, as of late, even though you missed one or two races, you have been creeping up near the point standings. Your win last weekend at Kansas and drive through your two wins at Canada and I believe uh, what was the other race? Um, Homestead. Uh, drive through. Do you think Joey is going to be a serious threat for the championship uh, in the second <laughs> half? <laughs> Put you on the spot. Jeez, I, I got to pull up the numbers here real quick. That's because... crazy. That's a crazy thing to ask drive through. <laughs> he's he's still mean, 34 points. Hey, the cutoff's 22. I was at like 50 something when I came into the racing. Okay, it's true. It's true. I I wouldn't be I wouldn't be asking me. I would be asking one Michael Cozy Jr. He missed two races Ooh. and he's still within 10 points of the points lead. Yeah, I, mean, I thought he only missed one. 
No, he he missed. No, he, he missed. Basically, like he, he pieced out for two weeks, and I just cleaned up and won those, and then he came back <laughs> and dominated again. Oh, that's right. That's right. Yeah, he didn't miss those two. You're right. Yeah. I mean, the reason why I asked that because like you're the points leader, so I'd like to know, you know, who, who's your biggest threat right now? I have to ask. I mean, oh, <laughs> easily win Val. Easily Val. Ah, and okay. Does, the dude friend, on short tracks friend, is untouchable. Did, did you see what this man did at Martinsville? Yes, yes. yes. I saw what he did. I saw, I saw him three before times the first half me. of the race was done. <laughs> I thought I was good for that one too. I felt really good, and it was still loose off the corners. And he's just like loose off the corners. Ha! No way. I don't That's think anyone's ever what done happened. that. He I lapped the field that. before the first half of the race was done. Crazy, absolutely crazy. Thankfully, the championship race is not a short track. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> That's a little bit worrying. Watkins Glen also a bit worrying. I, I, I don't know how good for, he is at the road for, courses. So. I can't wait for Watkins Glen. Oh, right. I'm excited too. Just got to say this right now. So here's a look right now at the entries for the core open. Darren Gilliam, Jake Baskinger, Rusty Wallace, Joseph Lombard, Colonel Mount, Jarrett Lundberg, and Caleb Hoffman. I don't believe Caleb Hoffman, yes, he's not participating in tonight's event. So only six drivers will be racing uh, in the All-Star Open and qualifying just wrapped up. So let me just take a look now at the um, where everyone's starting where. Doesn't say right now, but qualifying did wrap up. So in a bit here, we should get the invite to go racing. So uh, three drivers will have the opportunity to advance. Right now, it is Joseph Lombard who wins pole. Second place is Raw Gator. Third is Rusty Walworth. Fourth is uh, Darren Gilliam. Fifth is Jared Lundberg. And sixth is Jake Baskinger. So drivers, who are the three drivers are going to uh, race their way into the All-Star race? Who do you think? Points leader goes first. Yes, that's true. <laughs> <All right. laughs> Joseph said a decent lap in here. I'm looking at the qualifying times. A 19.6 from him and a 19.7 from Raw Gator. I expect Gator to make it, no problem. Like, he'll he'll easily take a stage. I think Joseph will take one as well. Um, Rusty with a 19.7 is a little bit slower than I would have expected. I saw a little bit of his practicing from this week. Um, but, I mean, Darian, Jarrett, and Jake are both in the 20s. Um and it looks like this field is sort of split in half right now. Can we join the lobby right now, by the way? Um, uh, no. I'll let you guys know. When nope. it, when right, it cool. says, um, uh, basically, go on someone's stream. When it uh, cuts to the loading screen, we can join in. Okay, I can see it now. Uh, yeah. I guess my turn. Uh, yeah, dude. Uh, Joseph, uh, from the races I've done with him for fun, he's pretty solid here. Um, you know, I think Joseph will definitely take a stage. However, though, I think the guy that's going to win the Open... The reason why I have Rock Gator there is because it always seems like at the tracks to come out on top, and when it comes to these kind of tracks like Eldora and the dirt tracks, every time I race with them, so I got Rock Gator taking a stage, probably win this thing. Probably go Darian taking a stage since the other two will be oh. advanced. So this is gonna be fun though. This is gonna be fun. I got Darian's off Dark Port. He's been very solid this year. I give him huge props for what he's done this year because he, from last year to this year, huge turnaround when it comes to driving. So don't be surprised if he takes the stage away in this one. All right, we're about to find out. Like I said, guys, uh, stage one is nine laps, stage two is 12 laps, and stage three is 17 laps. You also have to remember with the fan vote, I believe right now, last time I checked, I think Joseph leading with uh, Jake Baskinger in second. So even if you don't win, you still have the opportunity to get voted in by the fans. All righty, so Lombardi inside, 85 car Norma on the outside. Six drivers trying to fight their way for three spots. Green flags in the air were underway in the open. Oh, Joseph went already. He's hit the inside wall in turn one. <laughs> already <laughs> making mistakes. We're not 10 feet into this race, and he's bouncing off the inside wall. That's going to give the lead to Gator. Alpha turn four. Gator is going to lead the first lap. Second place is Lombard. On the outside of him is the 25 car, Darren Gilliam. And Rusty's looking pretty hungry behind them, so. Looks like Gator's pulling away, but the next five are all fighting for it. Darren and Joseph have been side by side for a lap. They are fighting for it for sure right now. I am still looking into the screen, but I am sure it is a great battle. Oh, and there it is. Look, I have Joseph on the inside of uh, Darian right now going into the corner. See if he sticks that pass right there on the bottom. Darian should get the drive off, though. Darian's been working that outside for a couple laps. Now he clears Joseph up in a second place. That 25 is looking pretty fast. Into the back of Gator, oh, though. Oh, contact. contact. Whoa. With the 82 car. 
And that's what we talked about earlier, guys. That little bit of contact or that little mistake is going to send people back. Now look at Darian. He was up to second place, now already back up to fourth. But he's already making the challenge at Rusty, though, for the third spot. Now Lombard's trying to get back for the lead. Hungry. Oh, Oof. Darian getting into Rusty for third. Ooh. Yeah, he wants this, man. Darian's been driving really good this year, and he's, he wants to prove that he can drive really well. And he's, he's proving it right now. He can get up there. He's the only driver so far in the series to score a top 10 finish in every race so far. So that 25 car has been very consistent this season. So out for the side lead. For the lead. Joseph he, working the inside. The Gators holding on. Side by side at the line. Lombard leads a slap. I think Joseph might get it done, but here comes Raw Gator, though, on the top with a very good run down the back straightaway. Let's see if Darian falls Joseph or goes with the 85. Looks a like great entry on the bottom side for Lombard, but Normal's got those exits on the Three. top side. But every lap, he's just falling a little bit further back. Three laps to go in stage one. Lombard is the race leader, and it looks like he's going to clear the 85 car finally off of two. Now here's the thing, can Gator get back to the bottom, get back up to Joseph? That top lane is the preferred lane to go. We know Gator can drive well, but can't. does he have enough time to get back up to Joseph and take that stage win? You think he's gonna try and move him out of the way, Joey? I, I think I think so. <laughs> hey, it's the all-star race, man. You gotta do what you gotta do. Get in the get in the show because you never know what's gonna happen. Well, there he goes. Look at him to the inside. Oh! Oh, contact! Oh boy. One to go, right? Uh two to go. Actually, no, yes, one to go, I believe. Yeah, one to go. go. Gator's it's hungry. He's wow. On side. He's, on oh, he, he's gonna turn him, it looks like. He's gonna drive it in, watch, he's gonna drive it in. Side by he's side. Inside. It'll be about a run out of the corner. Okay, look at Gillian, look at the 25 oh, car. Oh! Contact, oh, contact sliding contact sideways. Lombard. Wow. Oh, we got a wreck in the back. It's like the so, orange truck of, uh, who is Jake that? Jake Baskinger. There? Jake Baskinger made some hard contact with the wall. Wow, wow. Lombard now, wins. Now, this opens up a lot of things, though, here, because more than likely, I think Joseph has the advantage when it comes to the fan vote now. So that eliminates it, but, well, actually, no, that doesn't help people, actually, because now Joseph has the stage. Well, no, it would, because it would go to the second voter, right? It would go to the right. second highest vote. Yeah. Right, right. And, so and that, I... That, Oh, sorry, and I believe last time I checked, the 30, or 38 car, Jake Bassinger has the poll lead in terms of the fan vote, so... He might be in fifth or sixth place right now, but this could help him a lot, unless um, he, I mean, could help him regardless, unless something major happens. Yeah, and I'll tell you one thing right now, and I think drive through scene as well. Look at Rusty right now. Rusty's sitting in the third position right now. If he gets a good, solid start right here, gets to that second spot, I I wouldn't be surprised. Rusty's really showing me. He, he, got, he got the strike down a little bit. All right, well, here we go. Green flag in stage two. I expect Gator to run away from this one. We saw how hungry he was on the inside of Joseph. We still have two more stages. Uh, yes, um, this stage and one more. I, I think without a doubt, that 85 is going to make it. Oh, oh, look Darren's at the 25. Look at Rusty. Look at Rusty right there. He's fighting. He wants to see a three-car battle for the lead. Joey, you Gillian did say did the... such a good job on that outside. I, don't, I haven't seen anyone else run it like he has. He's now in the lead. I mean, Joey, you did say the outside lane was a preferred lane, but man, what a drive off by uh, Darian. Yes. Rusty going to the inside of Gator for second. And, and Jed, just like I told you, ooh, a little contact there between Gator and Rusty. But, yeah, just like I said, man, that outside lane is the preferred lane to run a lap here. But if you want to pass someone, you have to go by that wall or to the bottom. But definitely it is the preferred lane to defend a position or to run a clean lap. All right, so still side by side in second place there. Normal trying to get the drive off the corner, and he will clear him just barely, though. Oh, contact with Rusty. Oh, so and in the wall. The time here. Let's go out the 38 car. Like he's falling. Oh, oh, Jared gets into Jake at the back. But it looks like they're going to get out of it okay. The field now is starting to spread out a little bit. Right now, the 85 car, Normal trying to drive his way back into the back, back bumper of the 25 oh. car. And Jake, Jake Rusty make contact. Now Jake's going to move to the third position here as wow. Rusty falls back to the fourth spot. And meanwhile, back out in front, look at Norma on the 85 car. Going right side down by to the side. inside wall. Going to the, but here comes Darian. He's got that advantage on the top side, though. You get that run off the corner. Now Darian's going to run that middle. That's what's been working for him the most this race so far. 
Normal going to drop back in line behind him. Just a few truck lengths separating the top two. And I feel like we've seen this situation before. Again, it's Gator knocking on the door. Can't quite get into the lead of this race. Darren Gillen doing a fantastic job out front. And we're halfway in stage two. Normal, he's trying to do everything he can to get by the uh, 25 car. He's been trying that inside lane. Should he try and maybe go for an outside a bit? Because we saw the 25 car get by him on the outside. Look at him trying to make a move there. Nothing I think, right, I think uh, right now what Raw Gator needs, he needs Darian to slip up just a little bit. He's closing, but Darian's getting that run off the corner, though. He looks so steady, just planted in the middle of the corner. Uh, Darian's been doing a fantastic job. I, I don't think Gator can get around the outside. I think it's just going to come down to, like Joey said, either the, the 25. Making a little mistake or a bit of a send on Gator's part. Uh, one, like 25 washing up the track a little yeah, bit in turn one, two. one thing I've noticed, watch Raw Gator when he enters the corner. He's entering sort of in the middle and he's cutting down more into the inside when Darian is more sticking into the middle. Could that be an advantage for Raw Gator to get that run kind of at the end of the corner? We're just going to have to wait and find out. I mean, right now, the 85 car, he's got just, I think, three laps to go in order to make a move on the 25 car. He's not, in terms of the fan vote, he cannot bank on winning the fan vote. He's nowhere near getting the top spot. So, unless the 59 car, Rusty Walrus, poses a threat to the 25 oh, car, he has to get into him, and there he goes. Ooh. Ooh, moving on with the racetrack a bit. That's the mistake Rocketer was waiting for, but it was at a really bad part of the track to where he couldn't take advantage of it. Two to go. One to go. Oh, one to go, actually. I'm, so I'm it's going. now or never for Wow, Rocketer. really good corner. Really good corner. He's, he's there. He's there. He's going to dive it in. He's got to dive it in if he wants to have Here a shot goes. at getting the All-Star race. There he goes. He's got oh, the move in. Oh, oh contact. Oh, it's really side good. Side again. And, they're beating me to strike oh! and drive it. Wow, the 25 car wins. That Dude, was, <laughs> that was, did you see what Darian did though? That was such wow. a smart move. He drove Raw Gator down the front straightaway so he could kill his momentum. That was a great move by wow. Darian. That could be the move that wins the all-star race. I and thought, I was very surprised cool. by that. I thought the 25 car, Gillen, would just maybe get up, try to get away from him, but... Very, they were very smart. A quick reaction timing to try and force him down to make sure he doesn't gain any more momentum. Wow. And once again, Gator's the bridesmaid. Wow. It kind of reminds me of Bubba Wallace in the All Star Open. I mean, second place. Second yes. place. Stages. All right. So now, now, now we're down to four. The 85 car of Raw Gator, the 38 of Jake Baskinger, the 59 car Rusty Wallace, and the 88 of Jarrett Lundberg. One more race, 17 laps, winner advances into the All-Star race. Oh boy. And we know that Baskinger has that All-Star vote locked down. He doesn't have to win this, but I, I expect the 59 and the 85 to absolutely have edit. Rusty got a really game. good restart. Look at that. He got the advantage on the outside. Rusty just needs to get a good drive off here. This still could be side-by-side -side out too. Off of He's two. got good momentum coming out of turn two down the back stretch, all the way up to the wall. Gator takes the lead. Rusty oh! gets a little bit. He was trying he to cross him over. He would have wanted to back off just a little bit more to get to the inside of that 85. But it's not over yet. Give him a oh, little bit of bumper mid corner. Oh, push him up the racetrack. To Here the comes the 59 Here car. Rusty. Underneath the 85 car normal entering three. 59 car Rusty Wallace now has an edge underneath him. Side Got by it. side out of turn four. Rusty oh. Wallace to the lead. Squeezing him to the wall. But Gator... Managing to hold on to his momentum just barely. Guys, Rusty wants to prove something. No one looks oh. at him as a no one. Oh, he, they're still making. He really wants to prove that he can race with the big boys. He wants to get in the All Star race. And they're driving in hard, but the 85 car is staying tough on that outside lane, getting that drive off the corner. Still and side by side. Rusty working the bottom. Gator working the high side. How long can they make this last? <laughs> My goodness. Guys, no, no, guys, guys, if they keep this up, look who's in that third spot now. It's Jarrett in the 88. He's getting a little closer Ooh, every single lap. Contact corner. Wow. Nice Rusty to go. Rusty slid up the track, and Gator gets the advantage. Clear into the lead. And that 59 is not done yet. I think Rusty has the speed to win this, guys. We saw in the last stage that Rusty was there with the top three. He just hit the wall a few times and lost the track position. To the He's inside. there, though. Oh, man. Again. More contact up the track oh. in the wall. 
Wow, and we've seen the 59 car Walrus wa wa so far this season. He's not afraid to use the bumper when needed. If he stays right there, do not be surprised if he drives it in in that last corner. He did it again! The oh, up the track Three again! Laps. Seven laps to go. Rusty wants it! I'm jumping out of my seat. This is oh, insane. Man. And he this goes to the lead. racing. Can he clear him? Ask for the lead! He's going to clear him, but the 85 car is going to get a huge run. Get oh, oh, contact! Turns up. I think he was just trying to get an entry into the corner, but that's going to cost Gator a little oh. bit. Oh, uh, maybe here comes a crossover move, maybe, by the 85. Oh, right on his bumper oh. now to the inside. Here oh, he hit the wall! He hit the wall! Oh, no! Oh, no. The 59 loses oh, a ton hit the of momentum. On the wall. Wow. He hit the spot just beyond the flag stand. There's one of those stop spots, a Heat 4 classic, on the front stretch wall, and that cost him Five easily a second and a half. Wow. Well, I don't know whoever's watching now, but the the Rusty Nation can still vote. I think is the vote still open? The vote's still open, but I don't know. It's the gonna be very, open. very tough. It's gonna be tough. Rusty Nation can still win the vote. There is a voting poll still out there on Twitter if you want to vote for favorite driver. Oh, Rock the wall again. Four to go. Oh man, Rusty Wallace. I mean, he's trying. Gator's everything. running high though. Look at him in one and two. He's going way up the track. His only hope is for Rod Gator to mess up. Laps are winding down. Right now, Baskinger w leads the van fan vote by 44 votes. Oof. Rusty's running some clean laps, though. Oh, oh and he, he hit the wall again. again! Oh, and he oh, spins! Oh! oh. oh. Upside it. down! Oh, is Big that a wreck. caution? Yeah. Um, caution, is I believe. Is caution out? Ca I don't know. The caution's out. The caution, caution is out. out. Oh, my oh, goodness. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> this changes everything. Oh, 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 oh. We're going to be going is... overtime easily. Guys, guys, I, I literally just jumped out of my seat. Oh, I, I cannot believe goodness. that just happened. And <laughs> guys, we know we know Rusty. He does, I don't think he meant to do that. He's getting every inch possible. He hit the oh, spot. Yeah. I don't think he meant to do that on purpose or anything. This is terrible Un for Rock Gator. Unbelievable. This, that's the last thing he wanted to see was that. Well, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, Rusty can stay with Raw Gator. I'm telling you, if he gets a good restart and gets right there, I could see Rusty winning this stage. I mean, to be honest, at this point, anyone has a shot at it. I mean, we saw the oh, 38 boy. car even have a bit of a run. Here we go. Overtime. NASCAR style on dirt. Norma on the inside. Walrus on the outside. The winner advances to the all-star race. Green flag. Gloves are off. Rusty gets a good start on the outside, but he's arcing him in from way high up in the corner. Uh, and a little too Jared high. might get up in a second here. Bit way too high. He's got a good oh, run he's got the, the run. corner. He's got the run. But he's got to get back down to the bottom of the track if he wants to challenge Gator. Gator's running way lower than we've seen him do earlier this race. This time by White Flag, one lap to go. Last chance for the 85 or the 59 to get into the All-Star race. Look at Walrus trying to drive it in on the he's inside. Trying. He's Won't there. Good momentum, uh, he's got but one he more might shot. have to send it. He's going to have to move him. All or nothing right now. Through Last three and gas. four, he's not there. Oh! oh, oh. The thing. He hit the wall, but that's not going to be enough. Oh. Trey Norma wins stage three oh. of the Open and advances into the All-Star race. And that means the fan vote has concluded. And with the final poll of 21.32% of the votes, Jake Baskinger advances into the All-Star race. Wow. So that means... Oh, how close was it? Uh, he... What, uh, how to, uh, by the fan vote? I think it was uh, 10 or 12 votes. Around 44, 45 votes. Between Jake and Rusty? Yep. Really? Yep. Wow. Where did That's that come huge from? huge jump. That's a huge jump. Wow. Congrats to Jake on getting the fan vote. Jake had a huge push at the end. Well done. Uh, wow. Uh, Anyways, thoughts, thoughts. <laughs> from this. Uh, I'm about to say, uh, we got to give credit to Rusty Walrus, though. Oh, yeah. For this incredible drive. I, I think he showed out there. He really wanted to get in. Th this is absolutely insane. This is going to be such a great all-star race. I I'm ready to get on the field. Now. I got to go <laughs> run some practice laps. Like, I, I got to make sure I'm ready to go for this thing. I want to make sure I'm running for the league on three wide. I want this, man. I want to race, hey, baby. Watch out for that spot on the front stretch, though. Yeah, That's I just thought oh, yeah. that. Just that yeah. <laughs> Woo -hoo. I think it cost oh, man. him his night. I mean, you have to feel for him for the fact that that costed him a shot of that win.
Boy, wow. w- what great battles. What, are, what battles. Amazing battles. And that should make the All-Star Race much more interesting, guys. Don't forget to tune in for the All-Star Race. The winner gets $100. Uh, it'll take place tonight at 8 p.m. Eastern Time. So make sure you guys go ahead and check that out. Uh, you guys have to get ready for your battle. The All-Star Race. 150 laps, no stages. But oh, if it's anything, <laughs> if it's anything like the Open, we're in for a treat. I'll just say that. Wow. All right. So, any any last thoughts before we go off? Um, I'm actually reading the comments right now, and <clears throat> Blue Jimmy saying breaking news, and someone is saying Rusty just retired from Core. I, I don't know what's going on. Is there something? <laughs> he, he made a statement was... at the end of his live stream uh, after getting the wall a couple times. He's not too happy right now. I mean, um, he, I, I can't. He, I think he. Uh, I think he said some stuff and then turned the stream off. <laughs> Oh no! Uh, hey, you 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 gotta love his passion, though. I mean, Rusty Wallace. You know, I don't think he gets enough props for sometimes with the great driving he does. He's getting better every single week we see him race, and he just showed it again what he wants to do, and that's to go out there and win. So this is the last of Rusty Wallace. I think we're gonna see him improve a lot throughout the season. Yeah, I, <laughs> a bunch of people are saying in the comments Rusty retires. I don't know if it's like if he's actually if it's real or he's we'll, probably just we'll uh, hear from him. I think. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Rusty sent a stream he will retire if he didn't win a stage. Oh, man. Well, there you go. He came <laughs> so close. So close. So, wow. so so close to having his career continue. What will he do now? <laughs> Later. Uh, man, he probably joined with IDK somewhere playing GTA. <laughs> probably Fortnite. Probably Fortnite. <laughs> like that. He'll be a professional Fortnite player with me, IDK, and Joseph. <laughs> <laughs> All righty. Well, thank you guys so much for joining us, uh, Drive Through and Joey. Good luck for, to you two in the All Star Race. And yeah, again tonight, 8 p.m. Eastern Time. Winner gets a hundred dollars for uh, for me, Drive Through and Joey Stone. Thank you so much for watching the Core Open here on MDK, and I will see you guys in a thir- half an hour actually for the All Star Race. <laughs>